Well, Rally Sweden is the only full winter event on the World Rally Championship calendar, and it requires a very special component, a component that we only see on this rally. It is, of course, the snow-studded tyre. And I caught up with the Hyundai boys to give us a little insight into how it works. Now, for people at home who don't know, if you could explain, please, how the tyre works. I mean, we know that it's, there's, there's nearly 400 studs in there and it's a very, very small surface area. But explain to them the physics of how that works, please. We have a kind of rubber uh, which already get a traction and try to, to get out the snow under, under the tyre. And then you have the studs which are all the same for everybody and who gives a really good traction. They go into the eyes. Uh, they try as well to give a certain stability on the, on the lateral grip and the corners. To go out and to see the conditions you, you can find, you couldn't believe that you could have so much grip. But uh, when you're in the first cars on the road, obviously, uh, yeah, the studs are just going into the eyes and delivering a huge grip. Especially you can feel on the braking and while cornering uh, that uh, you have a lot of traction. Sometimes it feels similar to, to asphalt if the ice conditions are great. Well, I'm still down here at Hyundai, and one man who knows everything about these tyres is Danny Sordo's chief engineer, Nick Navas. Now, Nick, give us an idea of how many tyres uh, the team brings uh, to Rally Sweden and how many that, that each driver gets through in a weekend. So, the entire team have got 96 tyres for the whole event, so that's 32 for each driver, and that covers shakedown and all four days of the rallying. The setup of the car and the tyre, they have to work together in union, so how do you go about making that work? Uh, so... We have to work quite hard with the damper in the spring to be able for the tyre to work and get the stud biting into the ice to actually get the grip on the surface. Obviously um, tyre pressure is key as well, isn't it, here in Sweden? Depending on the surface condition, the snowfall, we can have a very dry day, dry ice or fresh snow, so we have to work hard on the tyre pressure and get it key and optimal. Nick, thanks very much for talking to us. Let's go and take a look now at how these tyres are produced down at Michelin. Well, I'm here now with uh, rally manager of Michelin Motorsport, Jacques Morelli. Uh, Jacques, obviously there's a, a huge amount of activity going on behind us. Just give us an idea of how many tyres do you, does Michelin actually ship out to Rally Sweden? Uh, yeah, we ship not so many because it's only one kind of tyre, so we have 1,020 tyres. And it's handmade? Completely handmade and should, should be made with the correct temperature for the glue. Everything is all under control. Jacques, obviously you bring all these tyres out, but how are they allocated to the driver? Because it has to be fair, doesn't it? Because every tyre is, is ever so slightly different. Every Tuesday before the rally, we, get, we got to, to, to do a lottery. Pick out a name and they say this lot is to Mr. Rogier, or this lot is to Mr. Latvala. And like this, nobody knows which tyre I get. So there you go. Everything you need to know about the most important component here in Rally Sweden is, of course, the snow-studded Michelin tyre. The only thing that allows these boys to do 180 kilometers an hour on sheet snow and ice.